In today's tutorial, we will explore the add group command, breaking down its functionality and providing seven practical examples to illustrate its usage. So, let's get started. At first, a Linux group is a collection of user accounts that share certain permissions and attributes of files in the Linux system. This simplifies user management and enhances security by efficiently controlling permissions at a group level rather than individually for each user. To create a new group, you can use the add group command. It allows you to customize the group settings and manage privileges and permissions. It is similar to the group add command but more interactive than that. The basic syntax of the add group command is really simple. Just use add group command followed by the option and the group name and you will find several options available for this command. And to know the detailed description, run the command man add group. And here you can find a detailed description for this command and its options. Add group command is a helpful tool to create new groups and manage multiple users with the same permissions and privileges. Now let's have a look at seven practical examples using the add group command. To add a new group with the add group command, open your terminal and enter the command sudo add group group 1. Here sudo is used to execute with root privileges. And when you run this command, you are creating a new user group on your system named group 1. So hit enter and see group 1 is created. Now to know the details of this group 1, type getint group group 1 and hit enter. And here you can see the group 1 informations. If you want to create a new group with a specific GID, you can also use the add group command. Suppose the new group name is group 2 and assigned GID is 202301. So type in your terminal sudo add group dash dash GID the GID number 202301 and the group name group 2. Hit enter and you can see group 2 is created. Now to check the details, again type get in group group 2. Hit enter and you can see group 2 is assigned with the new GID 202301. The add group command also allows you to specify a login shell for a new group. To do this, you have to add the shell path after the add group command followed by the dash dash shell option. So type in your terminal sudo add group group 3 which is the new group name dash dash shell backslash bean backslash sh here the new group is group 3 with the specified shell as the default login shell for the users so now hit enter and yes group 3 is created let's create a system group using the add group command with the option dash dash system so type in your terminal sudo add group dash dash system employee which is the new group name and the option system signifies that the group being created is a system group now hit enter and you can see employee group has been created now to check the gid again type get it group employee and hit enter you can see that i have created a system group called employee the Farbas mode signifies that you want to display a lot of processing information on your screen. You can switch to the Farbas mode by adding the dash dash debug option after the add group command. So let's create a group named group 5 in Farbas mode and show the detailed processing information in the terminal. So enter the command sudo add group group 5 dash dash debug. This command will create a new group named group 5 with debug information enabled for additional insights during the process. So hit enter and group 5 is created in verbose mode. Now to know the details of group 5, type get it group group 5. Hit enter and these are the details for group 5. The help page for the add group command contains a brief description of this command. To go through the help page, type the command in your terminal sudo 
at group dash dash help. And the help page is displayed and the general options are given here. Now let's see the current version of the add group command on your Linux machine. Run the command sudo add group dash dash version. Hit enter. And you can see the version of the add group command in Linux is displayed. The Linux add group command enables user to create and manage groups in the system. So now you know all about add group command along with its purpose and seven different examples. And don't forget to go through the commands and articles in the description below if you want to have a better understanding. So goodbye for now and keep learning to become a pro.